Hey guys, it's Lisa from LJ Creations. Today we are going to make this awesome sunflower wreath, if I can get it up right. Um, it's made out of clothespins, spray paint, ribbon, and an uh, awesome sunflower flower. So join me and uh, show you how to make this. Okay, we're going to um, start by painting the clothespins brown for the center of our wreath. So, go ahead for it, Jamie. Just this one? Yeah. yeah. We'll do both, huh? Okay. Today I'm crafting with my friend Jamie, so this everyone say hi to Jamie. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Probably, I probably have to let it dry. So that is how you paint. Okay, so we got the yellow and the brown um, painted, and as you can see, we're kind of just filling in the yellow on the outside and the brown on the bottom. And you like you just put the brown like this, right in there. And we just used. Uh, Spray paint from uh, Walmart, Rustin Oleum, Sun Yellow, and Kona Brown. So we did a 10 o'clock trip to Walmart at night because we came up with this idea. So we're just crafting with friends today. So I'm going to do my video a little different than normal. I'm not going to go through it all with you. But and you can probably hear the guys in the background because they're working on a project for us as well. They're cutting out snowmen and Scarecrows out of pallets. So, and I'll show you that once we're done. So, that just shows you once I'm done um, putting them on, on, I will show you the end result. Hey there, guys, it's Lisa. So, the wreath is done, or the basis of the wreath is done. And um, I just want to show you real quick what I did because I didn't do a process video of this because there was so much going on in my house today. We had a blast and we had fun and we got so much done. It was craft day with friends. Um, I started the wreath with, it's just a, I don't know if it's a work it wreath, if this is that, if that's what this is called or not, but um, it's one of those wreaths, like a floral wreath, I guess. Um, and I just took the yellow and the brown clothespins and put them in, um, in the two, I put the yellow in the bottom top two, and then I put the brown in the top two. I have seen it where you kind of alternate a little bit, but for this project, this is what I came up with, and I really liked it, so, um, now I gotta see if I can get that back down there. I am actually putting it on the wrong one, here we go. So, that shows you what that looks like a little bit. But this is our the basis of our sunflower. So then um, I have this ribbon. And I'm sorry for all the noise. I do have the dryer going. And I'm right next to it. So I'll close that door real quick. Um, this is the ribbon I had left over just in my stash. And I wanted something in... My husband and I talked and we said that it really wasn't a ribbon that you can make a bow with. So we're going to make like a makeshift bow kind of thing with it. So um, I am going to take, we're going to do a little odd thing with it. We're going to take this and we're going to just kind of make two loops. And with those loops I am just going to hot glue them up together so that we can make like a bow. We were thinking about like a swag ribbon, but I really wasn't feeling it. So I thought this would be cuter. And I want to say I get this ribbon from Hobby Lobby. So, and then you're going to take your, um, your extra swag or your extra of the ribbon and just kind of 
strip it like this because we're going to hot glue that or we're going to, sorry, we're not going to hot glue. We are going to take our flower that we cut off, it's our, just our sunflower, and we're just going to glue this, or um, not glue, tie that on here. I am going to secure that with some hot glue after I tie it, but just so we can get the basis of that. Because I made a boo-boo on the sunflower and I cut off the stem, so it made it a little harder to secure to something. So, there's there is that. And then I want to do that. So, see, we're just going to cover our ribbon with that. And I am going to secure that with some hot glue just to make sure that stays. Because this is going to be on the door and it is going to get some wear and tear on it. So. And this is actually the I'm trying to think of the word for it, the wreath for my door for the fall. So as soon as school starts back up, I will place this place this ribbon or this wreath on my door. If you follow my channel, you'll see I do um, I seem to do a lot of uh, wreaths for every season, holiday, and stuff like that. So. But there is that. So we are going to place this. We're just going to hot glue the back of this. Okay. There we go. And there is our wreath. Um, I'm just going to get probably some ribbon and tied up here just so I can tie it on my door but it's done it's super cute I love it it's very um, different for me it's not something I would normally put on my door but I like it so um, and then I'm going to show you a few of the other projects that I did today um, with my friends and my husband um, there's an idea of my friend Jamie is saying hey I want to make this and I was like okay let's do it so we just started playing around so um I hope you enjoy the projects and um go check I'm going to show you the other things I'm doing so I'll see you in a minute okay so I am not actually going to do a tutorial on this but I do want to show you um two projects I just made we had some friends um and as I showed you in a little earlier with the sunflower wreath and we decided at 10 o'clock last night that we were going to make this project and we had tons of pellets from our um, business that we thought this would be super fun to do so um, I'm gonna take you closer this is scarecrow I'm just gonna show you really quick it's a project share more than a tutorial obviously but um, this is a scarecrow he is just done using the pellets and um, black paint, white, yellow, orange, and brown, and then I got this cool ribbon, um, actually from Walmart, and then we just bought the floral, um, from Walmart as well, and made like a little spray, like a fall spray above his head, or hat, so, and I believe, um, this is just regular acrylic paint, the brown, the black, the orange, white, yellow, um, but then this right here is, uh, this beige is, um, a chalk paint that they sell at Walmart. So that was super cool and easy and fun. And then my snowman, um, we thought, well, if we're going to make a scarecrow, we could make a snowman. So we made this snowman. Now the scarecrow we saw on Pinterest. The snowman, I don't know if we saw it on Pinterest or just thought, hey, this would be really cute to do. As a snowman as well so he is done using the same paint pretty much um, the only difference is, is we bought some red felt for his scarf um, for his like little bow up here I had a floral crochet or carnation in my stash and then I had these uh, 
snowflakes left over from the snowflake um, wreath. So they're super cute. They're super easy. Uh, they do take a little bit of time. Um, there was four adults working on these. Um, there was actually, we made two of each. So we made two scarecrows and two snowmen. Um, one for our friends, Jamie and Greg, who helped us do this. And then one for us. So it was fun. The kids were helping as well. So it was always a good time. But I just want to show this share with you. And uh, happy crafting.